On this video today, I'm gonna to show you four simple tips that you can start to get more views on YouTube by using this 100% free software. This software can help you turn bland titles like this. They get really low scores into sexy looking clickable titles by using a few simple metrics that I'm gonna walk through on this video. I'm also gonna show you where you can go to get a lot of curiosity words, which is going to intrigue the viewer and get them to click onto your videos, which means you're going to get more views on YouTube on top of that I'm going to show you how you can still incorporate your keyword inside your title to make sure that you rank your videos, which means you're going to get more views. So before we get into tip number one, the first thing that you need to remember is that YouTube is a search engine. People come over to YouTube to search for a variety of different things. And there's one phrase that a lot of people are using more than any other phrase when it comes to searching for different things on YouTube, and that is how to. People are searching for things on YouTube and they're using, they're starting those searches with how to. Let me show you as an example. I'm over here into incognito mode so that my own preferences don't come up. And if we come in, we type in how to as an example, you're going to find a variety of different things that people are searching for on YouTube. And I'm going to show you the exact volume of a lot of these in a second. But primarily, as you can see, if you type in how to, it's going to come up with a variety of different Different things. Then what you can do is you can press the space bar. And as an example, if you press any letter in the alphabet, it's going to come up with a variety of different things. And these are, these are different things that people are searching for right now on YouTube. So how to is an extremely powerful way to start your title of any one of your YouTube videos and it's proven to work and it's proven to get people a lot of views. Take a look at my channel, Smart Video Tactics. Just as an example, my most, my top performing videos all have how to in their titles. And if you go and take a look at some of your most favorite YouTubers, you're also going to find that a lot of them will have how to at the start of their videos. Now, this is just a guide. I would be recommending that you mix this up with how to and a variety of different types of titles. Also make sure that the title that you're creating, the keyword fits into the how to as well. And we'll talk about that in a second. If we come over to vidIQ as an example, which is a software that I use to get keyword tags that I implement inside my videos after doing my keyword research. You can see if we just type in how to here as, as an example, and we scroll down, it's going to show you how much times this is searched on YouTube every single month. And we saw as an example that how to tie a tie came up on YouTube search. And you can see that this is searched over 1,071,000 times. How to is super powerful. And my first tip, if you can do anything, is to start incorporating how to at the start of your titles, because a lot of people are searching for this and it's going to help YouTube show your videos to anybody. So tip one, make sure that you incorporate how to as much as possible. Now, don't forget, before I show you tip number two, that I am going to show you this free tool in a second. And if you end up getting value out of that tool, don't forget to smash that like button in appreciation. So tip number two is you need to make sure that wherever possible, you are incorporating the keyword that you are targeting at the start of your title. Take an example out of this video that I created on this channel, and it's titled How to Make Money on YouTube, Turning Articles into Videos. So when you scroll Scroll down over here, you can see that I've got all these tags over here that I'm looking to rank this video for. Now, if you don't have this extension over here, this is called vidIQ. I've got a link in my description. Click onto that. What that's going to do is take you over to a page that looks like this. Come over here, click onto extension and install that extension to your Chrome account. Once you install that, you'll be able to see over here on the right hand side, you'll be able to see all the tags that a lot of these channels 
are using. So this is how you can get some IDs for video tags. And these are the tags that I'm looking, or these are the keywords that I'm looking to rank this video for. And as you can see, since the 3rd of May, it's had over 210,000 views. And a lot of these views are coming from search results. Now, the other really cool thing about vidIQ is if you ever decide to upgrade vidIQ, you can come over here and when you do your keyword research, when you type in, for example, how to make money on YouTube and you click onto matching terms, this is where I do my keyword research and you scroll down, it's going to show you exactly how much times these keywords are searched on YouTube every single month, which is going to allow you to get more views on YouTube. And in a second, I'm gonna show you how you can tweak some of these different types of keywords into a title to get them extremely clickable that's going to ultimately get you more views on YouTube. Now, tip number three that I have for you is you want to start to dominate for a certain keyword. So as an example, with my channel, Smart Video Tactics, what I want to do is I want to dominate for the word YouTube. So as you can see, with every single video that I make, I'm going to have the word YouTube in there. If you have a cooking channel, you want to have the word cooking in there just as an example and you want to try and incorporate that in every single one of your videos or at least inside 80% of your videos. I know this sounds very, very simple, but once you do that, it tells YouTube what your content is always about and it's always going to push your content to people that are interested in that niche. So whatever your niche is, as much as possible, try and incorporate one word or a few words inside your titles so that YouTube knows where to push your content. So with tip number three, remember, you want to dominate for certain words with your channel so the algorithm knows where you want your content to go. Now for tip number four, it's all about constructing your title so that it is super appealing, clickable and sexy enough for people to click onto that video and watch that video. Now it's not easy creating these clickable, extremely viral titles, which is why I recommend that you use this software over here called Headline Studio. I use this absolutely for free. I don't pay for this. I'm not an affiliate for this. And everything I'm about to show you on this video can be done absolutely for free. And it's headlines.coschedule.com. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna come over here and you wanna sign up for this free service. When you sign up, it's gonna ask you a few questions. Just complete all the questions and this is absolutely free for life. Now, then what you want to do is you want to come over here guys and you want to start testing out different types of titles. Let me show you an example of a title that I just put in here and I'll show you the score it gave me. Then I'm going to show you how you can improve these scores and the software is going to help you do all of it. Let's say for example that you have a workout or a fitness type of channel and take a look at this. I came over here and I typed in three morning workout routines that women can start today. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this title or at least I don't think there's anything wrong with this title. However, this software has given me a score of 68 and what it does is it uses a few metrics to get this score. If we scroll down, you can see here on the right hand side, it's going to show you all the words that you've entered it in here and it's going to give you a score based on certain words that you've used inside your titles. You can see here that it ranks off common words, uncommon words, emotional words, and even power words. And I'm going to show you a few places where you can get these different types of power words. If you were to click onto this open word bank, it's not going to give you any suggestions because we are on the free version, but I'm going to show you where you can go to get these power words. What is going to give you suggestions if you click onto open word book for comments. So if we click onto that and you scroll down, it's going to give you some common words that you can use. The other thing that it's also going to give you is uncommon words. So when you scroll down, it'll give you a list of uncommon words words that you can use and we can close this. Then as we scroll down, what this is going to do is it's going to give us some suggestions 
on the title that we have. So you can see here that in general, word count needs to be around 12 words. Now, this is just a guide, but you can see here that too little or too long is definitely not that great. And I'll show you why in a second when we look, when we take a look at skimmability, okay. Then we've got character count. So we're not quite there in the middle. Um, you can see here that we've used about 53 characters. It recommends around 70. Then when we scroll down, we've got a headline type. Okay, so this is a list. It says you wrote a list headline. Your headline creates curiosity in readers by keeping the content of your post ambiguous and ensuring it will easily be skimmable. So that's okay. Readability grade level, they recommend the easier the title is to read, the more chance that you have that people are going to click onto your video. Then when you scroll down here for sentiment, it's neutral and I'm gonna show you how we can improve that. You can see for clarity, we've got a nice work, so the title is nice and clear. However, we still don't have a high score. Then we have a skimmability rating down here. And what this basically does is when people are scrolling through YouTube, having a look at what they should click onto, there's certain words that are going to stand out and ensuring that we click onto it. Let me show you two ways that I tweaked this very, very simple headline that we've got here and how I improved that score drastically. Now, the top rating score is a hundred. I can tell you now that a hundred is almost impossible to get, but if you get it, well done, drop a comment down the bottom and let me know if you can get this to a hundred. So here is the first title change that I made. So if I click onto this, this has a score rating of 85, okay? And when we scroll down, you can see that I've used the word new here, that's an uncommon word. Then at the end of this title, I've used a power word, which is top, and I've also used another power word, which is easy. So we have gone from a very simple title, which is this one over here, so three morning workout routines that women can start today, to something that is the exact same meaning, which is new home workout routine for women, top three easy exercises. So when people are skimming through this, they're gonna see new, that's going to pique their interest. What they're also going to see is easy, that's going to pique their interest. Top is going to pique their interest. And when you scroll down, you can see that we're getting closer to this 12 word. Remember, this is just a guide. Then the characters is almost at 70. Reading grade level is six, which means people can easily understand this title and it makes it easier for them to click onto your video. When it comes to sentiment, we've got easy and we've got top, okay? And then when we come down again on skimmable, we've got new, we've got easy exercises, we've got home, we've got workout. So this is why this title is a lot more recommended than the first title that we had. And this title over here is definitely going to help us and get more clicks to our videos. And this is what this software can help you get a ranking on. Here is another one that I did over here, guys. So this is also a little bit different. So new morning workout routine for women. The other one was a new home workout. So new morning is so if your content is about morning workouts, you can just change a couple of words. And as you can see, when you scroll down, again, it's given us a much higher score. And when you scroll down, you're gonna be able to see that a lot of it is a lot better than the first title that we used. Although this one has a reading grade level of eight. So the pick out of the three that I would go with would definitely be this one over here, which is a new home workout routine. Now, I told you that I was gonna show you where you can go to get a lot of these different types of power words. So if you wanted to find some power words, what you could do is come over to this site over here called optimonster.com and take a look at this guys. They've got 700 power words, different types of words that you can incorporate inside the titles of your videos. So as you can see, 700 power words will boost your conversions. When you scroll down over here, you've got greed words as an example. So when you scroll down, you can find all these different types of words. As you keep scrolling, you've got curiosity words. So if you wanna pique the interest of anybody that's looking to click onto your videos, you can come over here and you can use some of these videos, some of these different types of words inside the title of your videos. As you scroll down, you've also got sloth words. I mean, you scroll down, you can also read what these meanings are of these different types of words and if it fits in with the content that you're trying to create 
on YouTube. Then when you scroll down, you can also see they've got ridiculously simple ways to get more email subscribers. So what this basically does is it gives you examples of different types of titles and how they're using these different types of words. Okay, so it will give you an idea of exactly how you can incorporate that as well. You can see that there's a lot of examples over here, guys. You've also got a few words. Like I said, 700 different types of um, words on here that you can choose. And that side again, guys, is OptiMonster.com. And if you incorporate these four different tips, it's definitely going to help people click on those titles and it's going to help you get a lot more views on YouTube. Now, just before I show you where you can go to learn how to create viral videos, if you found this video useful and the software that I shared, please smash that like button in appreciation and make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell on so you get notified as I'm going to be posting a lot more valuable content to help you grow and make money on YouTube. Now, if you want to know how to create those viral videos, click onto this video over here right now for a full detailed tutorial that I created recently. I'll see you on that video. Until next time, you take care of yourselves and goodbye.